Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface with Emergency Az number 8 Emergency Az videos. Raw, reactionary type of videos to breaking news uh, within the gaming world, especially within the MMO marketplace. Blizzard have once more opened their mouths. This time though, um, they've made an announcement. And in a few days time, just over a week, at Gamescon on August the 6th, they are going to announce the brand new World of Warcraft expansion. Now, this is huge news. And the reason why it's huge news is because Blizzard are completely breaking away from the norm here. They usually announce their expansions at BlizzCon, where they're safe. Where they have an audience that's going to do nothing but shower them with love, affection, cheers... Maybe use condoms, I don't know. But it's going to be an audience that is there backing Blizzard to the hilt. Gamescon is an unknown entity. Because this is an event that has a multiple spectrum of games. The audience that they get in for this announcement might not quite... I mean, the chances are it will, but it might not quite be the, the loving audience that they desire. And maybe there's going to be some sort of reaction from the crowd as regards to what we've had within Warlords of Draenor. But probably more importantly, what this shows is kind of almost panic. I mean, I legitimately mean panic, because... Warlords of Draenor released in November of last year. We are just coming to the end of the July. We are nine months into the life of this expansion. Three quarters of a year. There's still three months to go before Warlords of Draenor turns a year old and they're announcing the brand new expansion. Do you know what that says? That says one thing and one thing only. Let's get the Fuck out of Dodge with this X-Pack. This seems to almost be a vindication of this X-Pack is a fuck up. It is a monumental fuck up and we need to get things turned around ASAP. We need to get rid of this negativity which has surrounded this expansion. We need to move on into the future and move into somewhere completely different. Fingers crossed, no fucking orcs! We are sick to death of fucking orcs for the love of Jesus Christ, please. Please, I'm begging you. No orcs anywhere in this expansion. Thrall, I don't know, he breaks a leg. He's in hospital for two years because it's a really bad fracture. Let's not have any kind of orc-centric storyline here. Let's go somewhere completely different. But this also adds a little bit of validity now to the recent uh, copywriting of Council of Glades. Now, does this mean Council of Glades is going to be the name for the next expansion? Well, it's a bit of a weird name, but when you would have told me that Warlords of Draenor was going to be the name of the new expansion, I would have said that was a particularly weird name as well. And if it is going to be Council of Glades, what kind of storyline is that going to revolve around? Because to me, the Glades, we're talking about Lordaeron. We're talking about areas like that. We're talking about Medivh. We're talking about Kadga. And, and all those kind of, kind of uh, connotations that are involved with Sargeras and the Burning Legion getting into Medivh's head. So is there going to be some sort of Guardian storyline that's going to go into the new expansion? This is also mean that the recent uh, leak which I was going to do a video on, but this kind of news has brought a halt to that. The recent leak about the uh, Zandalari expansion with the old gods, with Engard, uh, Enzog and uh, with uh, Shara and the Naga. Does that mean the South Seas expansion, which we were kind of expecting to maybe hit, isn't actually going to happen? Or is Council of the Glades pointing towards that? Or is Council of the Glades merely a diversion? And during the course of this week, we might actually get the legitimate title filed for copyright. Um, it's not an unknown quantity. It's not an unknown entity because Warlords of Draenor was um, filed for very late in the day. Very, very late in the day indeed. So this kind of... <laughs> kind of vindicates a lot of people once more. If Blizzard are announcing a new expansion within a year of their current one, it just shows that everything is currently tits up. It also means that the chances of a 6.3 are now next to none. Uh, from what we thought was going to be a potential is, is now out of the door. It really is out of the door. 6.3, I don't think you should even think about it. 
it's gone. Uh, 6.2 seems to be it. Seems to be the end. And I think we've just got to bite down on that bit of leather and hashtag deal with it. But if Blizzard are going to announce the new expansion, which they said they are, in the six, on the 6th of August at Gamescon, we need to also understand what that means for beta testing. We recently saw that some of the beta servers have been reactivated. Somebody uh, then tweeted out saying, no, it's just testing. We always kind of put these things back up and make sure that things are ready, blah, blah, blah. But it kind of once more gives a little bit more validity to those suddenly beta servers, which are not the PTR servers, the beta servers going online. That's beta if you're American and you're wondering what the fuck I'm talking about. Beta, beta. Just get over it. Uh, it also means that are they going to announce, therefore, at this event when beta testing will begin. Uh, that's another major thing as well, because it's all well and good them announcing and saying, yes, the new expansion is going to be Cancel of Glades, or the new expansion is going to be Ashara's now got weird wiggly hair with serpents in it because she's a naga. Whatever the title they're going to give the new expansion, it's kind of irrelevant. We want to know the crooks. We want to know the meat and potatoes when we're going to be beta testing. So will they announce a beta testing date? As in as much as beta testing will begin soon, beta testing will begin in autumn or the fall if you're American. Come on, keep up. Will it say beta testing will go in the holiday season towards the end of the year, etc, etc. Will we get some indication on when the testing procedure will be actually starting for this? Whether or not I'm invited is a completely different kettle of fish. But I just tell the truth. I was right behind Warlords of Draenor in 6.0. It's not my fault that they fucked the rest of the expansion up. That is on the shoulders of one person and one person alone. The whole of Blizzard. Uh, right. <laughs> so, with this news being put out there, it's going to be very intriguing to see, first of all, audience reaction. Second of all, what is actually going to be announced? Are they going to go into various forms of content like they would have done at BlizzCon? Or is this simply going to be a named announcement? And if they do go into forms of content... How much salt do we bring to the table? How much salt do we bring to, to whether or not we believe what they're going to say is true? We got absolutely burnt to cinders at BlizzCon 2013 with what they announced for Warlords of Draenor. Virtually none of it came to pass. Hacked out, hacked out, hacked out, hacked out. So if they start to give us what forms of content they're going to be bringing at BlizzCon, uh, sorry, at GamesCon, how much do we believe? Do we just like shrug our shoulders and say yeah we'll believe it when we see it how much of the content that they announce is going to be organically just be hacked from the game because that does happen we always understand that it's just that warlords of draenor and blizzcon 2013 went way beyond that instead of just doing little bits here and there lost from the game massive humongous chunks were gone from the game also does this actually scream of a terrible horrible new thing which is going to be happening with the world of warcraft and we're looking at near annual expansions because i think that's going to be more detrimental to the game than good or is it simply the fact that they are saying let's just get the fuck out of dodge let's get out of warlords of Draenor. let's just get away with all of that stuff let's forget it ever happened let's just wake up and patrick duffy's going to be in our shower saying oh Oh, what was your dream about? Oh my god, I had a terrible dream as on journal. Don't worry, go through the dark portal. It's green again. Uh, Outland, it's fucked. It's absolutely destroyed. And then we can go in and just go, <gasps> Oh, thank god for that. Is it going to be one of those sort of occasions? Or is this an alarming new trend where Blizzard is looking to throw out uh, annual or every 18 month expansions and we're going to have one or two content patches? It's scary. It's scary. Until we get some actual crooks on the content of this expansion, uh, I'm kind of nervous. I'm legitimately nervous. So just over a week's time, it's going to be very intriguing indeed to see it. Um, I'm going to be on stream finding out all the information that I possibly can, hopefully live streaming all. But what do you guys and gals think in the comments down below? What are you expecting? What are you hoping? Is this a publicity ploy to try and get people's hopes back up? Is this a marketing ploy to kind of change the negativity surrounding the world of Warcraft at the moment? This has really fucked up a video that I've been working on for the past few days, but I might just get it out anyway. Who knows? Who cares? 
It's complete and utterly irrelevant. But I hope you enjoyed the vid. And if you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. Follow me on social media and shit. Those links are in the descriptions down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.